Hell is definitely real. It's real, very much real. Carl Knighton knows what hell is like because he says he went there after he accidentally overdosed on a drug called Valium. Like the Bible says, you in torment. Even though it happened more than 20 years ago, Carl was able to draw pictures of what he says he encountered in hell. The one in the middle, they, they trying to get out, out of, uh, out of the fire, but it, it's no, there's no way they can get out. There's no hope for them. Uh, there's no way of escape for them. Carl grew up in a Christian home where he had been taught that heaven and hell were real places. Even as a child, he was sensitive to the things of God. I always felt the presence of God. I've seen angels of God at a young age and that let me know that God was with me. After high school, Carl joined the Army and married. Both his marriage and his military career were short-lived. And, and platoon leader, I mean platoon star and squad leader would come to me and, and they say, oh, you're not doing your job and you should be doing better than this and you're not going to never make uh, the next rank. And so I got really frustrated. Carl decided it was time to get out of the Army by going AWOL. He hitchhiked to Ohio to see an old friend. He then went on a two-week drug binge. One night, Carl went to a crack house in the worst part of Columbus, Ohio. You can smell the stench of the, the crack cocaine. You can smell the stench of the marijuana. People was high and laying all across the, the, the floors. Carl smoked some crack and started drinking alcohol and using other drugs. But he says he believes it was the last pill he took that sent him on a journey to hell. And I took that volume, and before I knew it, I fell off the couch onto the floor. It was pitch black dark. I began to quiver. I began to have the shakes, and I began going down and down and down like a deep uh, pit. And I saw smelling the stench of hell. It's the most rottenest thing that you can ever smell in your life. In fact, you can't even imagine it. I began to feel a tugging and pulling. Like the Bible says, demons tug and nag at you. They was calling my name. Boy, say, we got you. We got you. We got you. You belong to us now. I saw souls, lost souls that was in torment in the lake of fire. They was crying and calling on God. They was hopeless. And I called on the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus. And soon I called on his name. I saw the hand of God snatch me out of hell, and my spirit went back into my body. Carl says that he was in hell for more than half an hour. I was shaking and trembling, and I turned my head to the right. <laughs> and they said I was dead. And they said that was there were 30 to 35 minutes. But I know that was a loving God that loved me so much. Three days later, Carl returned to Fort Eustis, Virginia to face the consequences of going AWOL. He was demoted and confined to the barracks for one month. During that time alone, he completely surrendered his life to Jesus Christ. I immediately asked the Lord to forgive me, repent, put them sins behind me, go forward, and God, I really gave my life back to Christ after that. Today, Carl is married again. He's also on a mission to tell as many people as he can about the reality of heaven and hell. God loved me so much. He loved me so much that he gives me a second chance. And I'm here to tell the story. Not a story, but the true testimony how awesome God is. And people will only listen and don't take God for granted. Don't throw your life away. Accept Jesus as your Savior.